Welcome to the Mila Experience Center in Princeton, New Jersey. My name is Vicki Robb, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lightened up vegetarian stuffed pepper. Our stuffed peppers are stuffed with quinoa, vegetables, and cheese. It's nice that they're vegetarian and everybody can enjoy them. So the first thing we're going to do is cook our quinoa. So I have one cup. That will make about three cups cooked quinoa and I'm going to give an equal amount of water. You can use broth if you want more flavor. And I like to season it with a little bit of salt because I did not use broth, I'm just using plain water. So just put that in there. And I'm using a special steam pan that is perfect for quinoa. The smaller size, but a little bit deeper is perfect. After placing it on my wire rack, I'm going to program the oven using MasterChef grains and the quinoa setting. It will cook for about 15 minutes, and when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. The oven just signaled that our quinoa is finished steaming, so I'm gonna remove it from the oven. Get a nice little quinoa facial, it's very nice. The pan is hot, so please use a towel to remove it from the oven. And I am going to add all of my ingredients right into the steam pan. You could see how perfectly the quinoa cooked. It's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and add all of our ingredients. We have some black beans. If you don't like black beans, you could always use pinto or another bean. This really has a Southwest kind of a flavor. I'm using canned corn today. Uh, the recipe does allow you to use fresh corn and you would steam that fresh corn in the steam oven as well. I have some chopped tomatoes, those are also canned. So this is really such an easy recipe because you can have all of these ingredients in your pantry. Some green chilies. I have Monterey Jack cheese. I'm only gonna use half of this because I wanna use some to top the peppers as well. Feta cheese. Cilantro. I even use the stems in the cilantro since it's not a topping, it's not a garnish, and it's actually cooking in the pepper. You get so much flavor from the cilantro stems. Um, I also have a mixture of spices. So the mixture is chili powder, cumin, onion powder, and garlic powder. So I could just blend them together quickly. Add them to the mixture. Kind of looks like a one pot meal at this point and I'm gonna stir to combine. Add a little bit more salt if you like. Again, you can probably skip this step if you use broth for cooking the quinoa. Okay, now that we have all this combined, we have to start stuffing our peppers. Now that we have our beautiful mixture ready, I just wanna quickly talk about how I prepared the peppers. So just cut off the top of the peppers, seed, and try to get most of the membrane out of the inside. Um, I also like to do a, a light little uh, slice on the bottom of the pepper just so they will stand upright. Um, if you do have a pepper that you cut all the way through, like this one here, I just take a little bit of the top part of the pepper and stuff it in the bottom so the stuffing will all stay inside. I have beautiful rainbow of colors here of peppers. You can use all red, you can even use green if you like green peppers. Um, they are varying heights. Uh, I'm gonna keep them different heights. If you want, you could, uh, for presentation, if you're having friends over, you can just level them all off so they're the same height. Up to you. So now I'm gonna stuff my peppers. I just have a spoon here. I'm gonna fill them all. You can fill it right to the top. It's not like something that's going to spread or overflow. And then I'm gonna to top each one with a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. You'll see when I program the oven, we're going to do two stages so that cheese will get nice and melty on the top. So I'm gonna finish stuffing these peppers and then it's time to pop them into the oven. The peppers are ready to go in the oven. I have them in our beautiful hub pan. It's our Miele casserole and it cooks beautifully in the combi steam oven. So now I'm gonna go through with you how to program the oven. 
On this program, we're using the combination mode. We're going to use two stages, so we're starting with convection bake at 350 degrees, and I'm going to use 30% moisture. That will really soften the peppers, but keep their structure intact for the stuffing. Then I'm going to switch to a broil mode, and I'm going to lower the percentage of steam slightly because I really want to melt that cheese on top. So the first stage is 20 minutes, the second stage is 10 minutes. I'm gonna program the oven and then at the end, you'll get to see how beautiful they look. We just wanted to pop back in to check on our peppers and take a look because now we're at stage two of two. So it went from that convection bake mode, stage one, to now broiling. So we have about five minutes left. So I'm gonna stay close and make sure it's at the level of browning that I like. At the end, I can always add more time if I want that cheese even browner. But it's smelling pretty good in here. Our peppers just finished, so I'm gonna take them out of the oven and show you how beautiful they look. The cheese is so golden brown on top, but the peppers really kept a nice shape because we didn't use too much moisture. So a perfect side dish, if you have a, a meat as your main course, if you want to keep it vegetarian, you could eat two or three of these peppers as your dinner. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and try it at home.